Hey guys, this is Life is a Shonen. I hope you enjoy the content on our channel. If you do, go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button under every single video. Hey guys, it's Mr. Abyss and we are back. And the first video series that I'm going to go ahead and start working on is a story structure analysis. I've been doing a lot of research on story lately as I'm writing my own things. And I think it'd be cool to sit back and really analyze stories that I love and hopefully y'all love as well. Because if you don't, I don't know why you're listening to this. But the first story we're going to be doing is One Piece. I'm a huge fan of One Piece. If you watched any of the videos previously on the channel, I've had quite a few of those. Even though we had to take at least seven of them down, Shueisha really came down hard on us. So I had to get rid of those just so the channel would exist. But let's get started. So the first uh, element we're going to be working with this week is the hook. Uh, the hook comes in many forms, but stripped down to its lowest common denominator, it's nothing more than a question. Every time we intro stories, we're always introduced to usually three main things. Your characters, your setting, and your conflict. But these things in and of themselves are not necessarily considered your hook. They can be, but it's more what you do with these things that brings the hook about than those being the hook at all. Okay, take chapter one for uh, One Piece. The story starts out, it's Luffy back as a child. I don't know if you actually count this as chapter one, but it's where it started, so that's where I'm going to start. But it uh, gives us the backstory on when Shanks was living in the village. He'd been there for a few years, as to what he said. Uh... He's hanging out with Luffy. They're living in the East Blue, the most peaceful sea in the entire world. And they're just kind of... It's introducing you to their normal world. The place where these people normally grow up. The things that they encounter. The things that aren't really out of the ordinary. So uh, the chapter continues on. We get a little more backstory. Or at least we a little more shown about the personality of Shanks. Uh, he's essentially, at the beginning of the story, supposed to represent like the prime pirate. He's the one living the life of a pirate. It's all about joy and having fun. Uh, his vice captain even says, like, well, when Luffy's trying to join, Shanks doesn't let him, but he tells him that there's a lot more than, to being a pirate than just being a brave man. And the examples that he brings up aren't very good examples. He counts pillaging, uh, stealing money from the uh, rich, things like that. After that, you're shown the, uh, the invasion of the mountain bandits. You know, you're given more story and conflict, but nothing's really hooked you yet. It's not until after the Shanks backstory, in my opinion, where you really start to get things that make you ask questions. When you learn about Luffy's dream, I want to be the Pirate King. First thing you think is, you know, obviously we know what a Pirate King is, but what does that entail? What does it take to become the Pirate King? Was there a Pirate King before this? Is Luffy basing this off someone? Is he, uh, is this something he came up with in his own head? That's what I mean when I'm saying a hook. It's the one thing that happens that'll spawn nine other questions to get you to continue reading or watching whatever story you're interacting with. And what makes Oda so good, in my opinion, is that there's not just one hook. I mean, there you could make a list for hours if you want to sit down and really do it. I alone got four of them right here. Right after you find out he wants to be the Pirate King, you find out he's a man made of rubber. How the hell does that happen? No one's actually made of rubber, right? And that one's a hook in, of its own. Then inside of that question you get, my powers came from a devil fruit. What the hell is a devil fruit? You see what he's doing in the story, essentially? Each of his... And he's really, really good at it. And if you haven't watched it yet, it's going to drive you crazy because he continues to do it throughout the story. Even when you get an answer to the question, it just opens up nine more questions. He's very, very good at it, so expect that. Uh, going along with his dream to be the Pirate King, he, uh, he mentions that... Well, one of the requirements to even be the Pirate King is to have a treasure called the One Piece. Uh, in the opening of Chapter Zero, they actually do reference the One Piece as Roger's getting executed... Uh, he says to the crowd that the One Piece, there's a place where he put all of his treasures that he collected on his journey. It's kind of like the apex place where the, the last Pirate King did it. He put everything he has here. If you want to be what I was, that's where you've got to go. But it's no detail given as to what the actual One Piece is. Many have theorized that it's uh, the adventure itself, which I really hope it's not that. That'd be kind of cheap. And with my feelings with uh, how good of a writer Oda is, I don't think he would do that to us. That gives us another hook in and of itself. So I guess you could say, yeah, at the beginning of the chapter, you do get your first hook into what is the One Piece. All in all, the hook is not really a hard question, uh, hard thing to explain. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's the thing that's going to get you and make you at least go to the next chapter. It's up to the writer himself to continue doing that and keeping you interested in the story. I hope you all enjoy this. I hope it's been a little informative. Uh, each week I will be releasing a new element. Eventually, once we get good enough at this... I should be able to do multiple stories instead of just one. So stick around and I hope you all enjoy the content.